As afternoon turns tonight here in Miami, the big crowd getting ready for the second of our two games here, day four in Pool D from Lone Depot Park in Miami. And our matchup is Israel against the Dominican Republic. Against the young, hard throwing right hander, originally signed by the Yankees, now a member of the Pirates starting rotation. Contreras getting ready. He goes down swinging here against the off speed pitch. So Contreras gets the strikeout to start the game. He went around. Set the home plate umpire. So back to back strikeouts for Contreras. That one hit well to right field. Going back on the ball is Jimenez, and he'll make the catch in front of the wall. Maybe just enough topspin to keep it in the ballpark. Close. Nothing, nothing in the first. Quite a test for the fourth youngest pitcher to ever start a game in the World Baseball Classic. He's only 19 years old, Jacob Steinmetz. So a full count now to Soto, three and two. Soto to left field and not deep. Kind of a blue. Hustling in, making a dive, and not catching it. Horwitz couldn't get it. Soto trying for second, and he's in there. Seems to be moving just fine, Juan Soto. Yeah, he seems to be moving just fine. Good hitters get rewarded when they're trying to let the ball travel. That's all he was trying to do with two strikes. I think it is a sign of respect, the stuff that Steinmetz is showing. Everybody's seeing this guy for the very first time. Some of the best hitters in the world going. Oh, okay, kid. Got a little something there. Yeah. Talk about another guy who you know, filled out Hilo Jimenez, but he looks great. He just punched that pitch. Base hit left field. Now score the first run of the game. Soto is in. One nothing. Dominican Republic. Well, similar to yesterday's game, Hilo Jimenez got started on the board with the base hit up the middle tonight. He gets that fastball and absolutely hammers it. Uh, Israel needs. They need a base runner. They didn't get one last night. Got him. Third strikeout already for Contreras. Little spinning slider right there. Uh oh. Backdoor breaking ball, strike three. Yeah, that's a good backdoor slider. Backdoor slider right there. Up the middle and backhanded. Marte throws him out. So more frustration for Israel. That's 31 straight yeah. Israeli hitters who made it out. Middle of the second, one nothing. For Jacob today is 93.9 in the fastball and 22.06 for the RPM. This time that strikes him out though. That's a good slider right there. It's a good spin rate too. Fastball wow, strike the, three. That's a good pitch right there. Too close to take for Gary. He should be very proud. He should be. He really did a good huge. You could read in Kinsler's lips. Good job. He is feeling frisky. Taking pitches, hopping up and down, staring back at the pitcher. Yeah, that's when you know things are going well for Juan Soto. Oh, yeah. Runner goes. Strike three call. What a job by Kravitz. Spencer Horwitz leads off for Israel. 31 consecutive plate appearances for this offense without reaching base. On the ground and past the dive of Machado. So there you go. And look at the dugout for Israel. They're pumped. They needed it. <laughs> So now Machado struck out his first time up. Dominican Republic scored in the first inning. They lead one nothing. Oh! Machado deep and gone up onto the patio. Honey, honey, get okay, go get okay. He had his platanos today. 437 feet. Boy, that swing was beautiful. You talk about a guy who can actually cover the fastball. Well, they try to. Trying to kind of fool him with a little breaking ball. We know what he did in 2022 with breaking balls. Just let the league in slugging on him. First, we've seen of Cattell Marte in the World Baseball Classic. Switch hitter, batting left handed. Marte into the gap in left center field. And that's going to split the gap. One hop, two hops up against the wall. Devers rumbling around third, and he will score. Cattell Marte with a double. It's 3 0. That's got to be a special moment for Marte. His first World Baseball Classic. The festival continues. Oh, it's a carnival with everything. All the drums, all the saxophones. Well, he went singing there. So now Gary Sanchez. Base is loaded, two down. On the ground towards short. Diving stab. The throw, the pick. Oh. Got him at first. What, what a pick. play. <laughs> Beautiful on both ends. So now Marte. John Peterson, what a catch. Lunging forward, ball sinking. Heck of a play to take away a hit from Marte. And who knows if the ball gets by, Marte might be running for a while. Strike one to Jeremy Pena. 
slowly hit ball, kind of a jam shot. Menlinger throws him out. Nice pitching by Molder. You start comparing Venezuela, Puerto Rico, the Dominican. Can they capitalize here on this first and second no out situation? Turning the lineup over. Big chopper right side. A little hesitation and a high throw. Israel gets nobody. Mervis could have just taken the out at first, decided to try to go to second, threw it high, and now the bases are loaded. And here's your big inning chance, right? One we talked about. One of the most talented players in the world. Big bouncer with everybody in. It goes right over the infield. Camilario scores. Behind him, Sanchez. He scores. The throw to second is too late. Or when you got speed, do it all. Try to come with that changeup. Julio got right on top of it with a high grounder. Big old bounce. Very tough. I, I don't think there was going to be any play at all if he would have made it, made that catch. Manny Machado, two on, nobody out, two runs in, and a line drive base hit right center field. Oh. Machado not waiting around. Soto scores. Rodriguez scores. Seven nothing. I think they've answered the bell. Wanted a rally? Well, there's your rally. Hey, we noticed he was sort of getting ready and not to pinch hit. Nelson Cruz is going to play the field. Yeah, I could still do it. We're going out to play right field. That's kind of cool. <laughs> to right field. There's Nelly. Come on, Nelson. You can still do it. He got to play. That's fun. Been a while for Nelson Cruz. Seventh inning stretch time. Look at this ovation. The guy whose big league career is likely over, but here he is on this World Baseball Classic team. Pulls that one into center field, base hit. He can still do it. Pena will score. It's 8 0. Do you think these fans are excited? Robbie Cano esque right there. We've seen that for a lot of years, staying through that curveball. What a knack, what a hitter, what an art. And we will get to see Nelson Cruz hit. Let's hear them. Let's hear them. Little lighter piece hit. So Cano's got a hit. Nelson Cruz has a hit. <laughs> It's Gene Segura's turn and Manny Machado's spot in the lineup. Segura, right center field. Could end it. And it will end it. One hop over the wall. Cano and Cruz score the winning runs. Can okay, can okay, okay. The Platano power is on full display. Well, the format lets you celebrate a 10 0 walk-off. That's great. Veterans combining to end the game, a dominant overall performance. And not just that final inning, but the Dominican Republic pitching, hitting, doing it all.